Well, how y'all doing? It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks, or should I say my rainy, muddy home in the sticks. And I hope everybody's having a show enough good start to a new week. But over here in East Central Mississippi, yep, it's been raining over here. I'm growing a whole bunch of mud, can't get out there in the pea field. It just, it is what it is because of all of the rain. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of Mercy. We're going to talk about a show enough pest that I have over here at the Home in the Sticks and what I am doing to try to eliminate them, or should I say, uh, keep them at bay. So give me a second, and I'm finna show you. <laughs> Dan, what you talking about pest-wise over there at the Home of the Sticks? Well, I'm here to tell you, we have a lot of bees and wasps and just things that fly and sting you over here at the Home of the Sticks. But the one thing that I do have a ton of, and that is carpenter bees or wood bees. They look kind of look like this. So a few years back, I actually did a video on something called the wasp away. And I'm here to tell you, they actually work. The one thing that they don't discourage is carpenter bees. But right now, since it's raining, they don't seem to come out uh, when it's raining. But if it was bright and sunny outside and hot, them jokers would be buzzing all around my head. They just, uh, everything that I have over here uh, on the lean-to of the shop, as well as over there, is uh, pretty much all uh, treated wood. And uh, the thing about it is, these carpenter bees love boring holes into this wood, any kind of wood, really. And we'll take a look at it, but when they bore their holes, they leave this fine dust, like uh, kind of looks like sawdust all over the place. Here's some over here. There's some there. That's all from a carpenter bee. And they also like taking the duke on everything, and that's uh, carpenter bee poop right there. We're going to climb up the ladder. I'm going to show you uh, what kind of holes uh, these carpenter bees do, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the problems that I have. Okay, there is a good example of a carpenter bee hole. They bore out a perfectly round hole, and they go inside that hole, and I guess they make baby carpenter bees. I don't know. And they make them all over the place. They drill holes all into these these wood beams here. What I've been using to keep them at bay is that right there. And that is a carpenter bee trap. I have another one over yonder. Sorry about the light because it is dark because it's raining. But they do work. And as you can see, I have a few carpenter bees that have been caught in this trap right here. So Dan, how does the trap work? We'll get it down and take a look at it. Here's the trap, and it's just basically a little wooden house and relatively easy to make with a mason jar that's screwed on to the bottom of the trap. And the carpenter bee will actually fly into this hole, do his thing, and he will eventually fall into this mason jar and get trapped. And there's several holes that mimic holes that they've already started uh, boring out, if you will. And they fall into there and get caught. Let's hang this guy back up. And it just hangs there like that. Bee comes around. Oh, look at this wood right here. Let's crawl in there and see what's going on. And he gets trapped. Now, I will say uh, this. I hate uh, trapping any kind of bee because they are pollinators. And they pollinate everything over here and help things grow. And yes, I'm all about that. But I'm not about uh, a bee that actually bores into wood. And if enough of them bore into wood, on these beams could actually crack and then we have a problem. So this is a good way to uh, keep the wood bees at bay. What I've done in the past is if I get some uh, wood bees uh, trapped in one of these traps, I'll actually take the, the, bob, the whole trap out into the woods and I'll just cut them loose in the woods. But that's something you have to check daily. This is a good way if you have a lot of carpenter bees or wood bees uh, on the homestead or at the home place, this is a good way to trap them if, if you need to trap them. And in my case, 
I have to trap them because they are a show enough, show enough nuisance over here. And again, I hate trapping any kind of bee, but one, a bee or a pest that actually damages property, yeah, got to get rid of them. All right, short video. It is raining outside. Looks like it's finna come a flood again. So that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. Uh, a way that I am actually keeping the carpenter bees or wood bees at bay over here at the home in the sticks by using uh, traps. And they're simple, simple traps. Look like little wooden houses for carpenter bees. They get up in them jokers, fly down, they fall in that, that jar, uh, mason jar down at the bottom and they can't get out. And I can do away with them, I set them free in the woods. So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good start to the week. And I hope everybody stays safe amid this crisis that we still have going on. If y'all like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homer 6 channel, Lord of Mercy. Y'all need to come on over and give old Dan a look. Because I'm always doing stuff. Like trying to keep carping the bees from eating everything wooden over him. That being said, you know it's coming Dan Reffer's show enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody show sure enough to get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.